this class is so cool because now that we've looked at, okay, we've looked at cells. We've looked at cell parts. We've looked at how cells make energy using those cell parts and how DNA works. And then we looked at how cells divide their DNA. And then we looked at how cells divide their DNA so that they can make sperm and eggs. And now we're going to look at babies. We're going to make some babies and see what they look like. And everything that we're doing in the next three lectures is revolves around one of our famous dead white guys, Gregor Mendel. So Gregor was this, like, rockin' botanist priest. I think he was a priest. Monk. It's close to a priest. He was a botanist monk, and he studied pea plants. And so he just was like, dude, I want to count peas and pea babies and make a bunch of pea babies, and he did. And back in the day, people were like, dude, why are you counting pea babies? Nobody cares about this. But then, you know, many years after he died cold and alone and sad, but at least, you know, he was given a little bit of credit because he has white skin and a penis. But he, his pea counting baby days led to our understanding of heredity. Now, the study of genetics is extremely complicated, and we are basically going to look at Mendelian genetics and the principles of Mendelian genetics, knowing all the while that in real life, few things actually follow Mendelian patterns. But Mendelian patterns give us a, a foundation to understand other more complicated processes. So thank you very much, Gregor, for all of your work and all of your peas and all of your pea counting. Like, seriously, this guy was a rock star. Let's look at his peas because there's a little bit of serendipitous uh, luck involved in the fact that his peas, the things that he evaluated in his peas, just so happened to be traits, P traits, that were each carried on a separate chromosome. If there's any part of you that does not fully understand meiosis yet, go away. Push pause, go back. No, just push stop, go back. Review meiosis. Make sure you're solid in meiosis because if you're not solid in meiosis, this whole heredity thing is going to just be like exploding over your head. Meiosis is critical to understand in order to get this. Okay, so let's go look at his P characteristics so that we can talk about uh, what their, what their, what his data was, what his data were. Bye-bye.